<laughs> All right, search engine marketing. So just a basic overview because he talked about search engine optimization. Um, so search engine marketing is a form of web marketing that seeks to promote websites and their visibility on search engines. I think you guys all might know what search engines are, but there's Google, Yahoo, MSN. We're going to focus on Google because it's kind of the monster that um, is out there, and I'll show you some statistics about why that is. They also have really easy AdWords to use, so they, they offer you tools that um, they'll walk you through it. They've got great people to help you, so that's why I'm focusing there. But um, again, a component of SEM is, is paid search, and that's Google AdWords, and they appear as ads on search engines. I'm going to show you a slide, but um, he was kind enough to show you what shows up organically, and I'm in, ads are to the right, and those are paid search listings, so they're different. Um, again, SEM market is huge, so those of you who have a website and you're not advertising, you're missing out. Um, they don't have terribly current what the total is, but in 2006, $9.4 billion were spent on SEM. And then for Google, which makes sense of money anyway, 16.4 billion in revenue for um, AdWords alone. So that's a lot of money that people are clicking on ads and paying. So again, why Google? 63.5% um, of you at searches. I had my um, AdWords manager that I work with at Organic Bouquet give me these statistics, which I mentioned because if you want customer service, Google's great. You need anything and they'll give it to you. Um, so, and the Google Ad Network reaches more than 83.5% of US internet users. And I believe the handout you had mentioned that it's 80% of, of internet users. So that's a lot of people. And I say that because there's people out there that want your service, but they can't find you necessarily. If you're unable to get that high organic ranking, try to get that high ad, which isn't terribly hard to do. As an, I don't think it's quite as complex as organic rankings anyway. So how it works. This is a lot of verbiage, so bear with me. Um, but you can set up an account for free. And again, Google will help you walk through this whole process. If you're confused or you don't feel like you know a lot, they have a ton of free services. They have people that are willing to talk to you. I know this because my background is in nonprofit. That's where I learned SEO and SEM. We like had no budget, right? So. And I was new to the field, so I was basically like, teach me Google, and they did, <laughs> which is really nice. Um, so yeah, basically, you guys create ads to appear when individuals type in a certain keyword or phrase. So he's talked a lot about keywords from a you know SEO perspective, but think of when you go to Google and, and you want to do something, you type in a word like, buy a car. That's a keyword or phrase. So what happens is, when you type in that word, corresponding ads are populated off to the right. So they appear when a keyword query matches an advertiser's keywords list. So when you have an AdWords account, you can set up specific keywords that you're willing to pay for that you want to appear when people type them in. So um, again, ads appear to the right while organic rankings appear underneath. Um, advertisers only pay when someone clicks. This is the beauty of pay-per-click because you're really getting free advertising some of the time. When people type in a word like buy a car, and your ad shows up, that's called an impression. It's, you only pay for it when someone clicks on it. So people might see your, your site, come back to it, things like that, but you actually don't pay for it unless somebody clicks on it, which is another good reason if you're kind of budget constrained. Um, you know, you can set how many, your, your daily budget and what you're willing to pay for there. So it's a nice function. This is just showing you that right here, it's the paid ads. And how many of you knew that those were actual, like, how that worked? <coughs> Right there. So pretty much everybody gets that, right? Organic and paid. A lot of people I talk to that aren't in the Bay, I'm from Oregon where nobody knows anything about this, but um, they're like, you kind of forget that, but they're always like, I didn't know those were ads. So when you think about it, depending on your product, a lot of the nation doesn't know that's an ad. They, they think, I don't know what you found with your Obama campaign, but a lot of people just aren't like terribly savvy as they are in the Bay. Everybody here knows all about this, but think of that when you're when you're willing to pay for a click because people aren't always you know ads depending on what you do it can come off as cheesy or whatever and they're more apt to pick and or click on an organic ranking but not necessarily if they don't get it so ranking ads he went over ranking organically there's always algorithms involved with Google which I find really interesting because I'm an ex accountant and I think algorithms are cool but a lot of people don't. What you need to remember is 
you, you know, they're not, they don't release this information. So there's a couple of key components to keep in mind. Um, so back to this slide here. I typed in search engine marketing appropriate, <coughs> and you'll notice all these ads appear. How that happens is there's a couple different components to that, but the main one is the bid. So basically when you set up an AdWords account, if there's a keyword that's really, really important to what you do, so if you're an accountant and you want accounting services, you want to bid higher on that, that specific keyword. Um, another component is quality score. If you're an accountant, you're probably not going to want to have an ad that says like pedicures. So you want to keep the keywords and things like that within, and I'm going to show you an example of some good ads. You want to make sure that that's really, can I see back there in the dark? <laughs> the lights just go out. Um, so you want this all to flow. It's similar to the methodology behind organic rankings. You don't want to have kind of like words that don't match all around. It should all flow and all be cohesive. So always keep that in mind, whether it's organic, paid, whatever. You want it to be um, compelling. And with that said, you also want it to be cohesive. So this is a keyword example. I typed in gifts. And um, this, these, I think, maybe some of you don't think, but I think these are examples of good ads, and I'm going to tell you why on the next slide. But um, as you'll notice, they've used the word gifts in the actual ad copy, and <coughs> Google actually bolds that for you. So there's an extra kind of incentive to use it. They've also used it in the title, and it's bolded again. And then everybody knows Red Envelope because part of their success is they've done great organically. But findgift.com, um, it's in their name. It makes sense. They do well both organically and with ads. Um, so I broke this down a little bit, components of a good ad. Again, um, Google bolds it. Keywords may be part of the URL. And there's clear and cohesive verbiage. I think that that's kind of the main trip up that small business owners do when it comes to um, ad copy. I'm certainly not a copywriter, but search around, see what other people are doing in your field. If they're ranked high, more than likely they're doing it right. They're either, it's not all bid, right? So if their copy is ranking high, it's probably what people are clicking on. So think of that too. So how to apply this to your business? I've heard a ton of different businesses out here, and I think that for small business owners, you always need to think of your end customer. So put yourself in, in their shoes. When it comes to paid search, it's just so important. Um, I think a lot of people, you think you're, you're in your business so much that you don't think of like who would actually search for you. What do they need? What are they wanting? So what keywords would they search to find your product? Make a list of those. Go search those on Google. What are other ads doing? What are they saying? Maybe don't click on them to be nice because then they have to pay for them. <laughs> but you can go. Um, you can at least go to their site and see where it's linking to. Um, I guess you can click if you're really learning. Um, but what type of verbiage would they respond to? A big function of paid advertising, unfortunately, is you need to kind of learn about your customer. And it is a function of time. Um, if you know your customer pretty well, your ads are probably going to do well relatively quickly, but there might be a whole customer out there that wants your product and they're not responding to kind of how you're talking to them or what you're saying. So kind of play with that a little bit. Um, again, Google is a resource. They will provide you with ad copy if you can't come up with it. They'll provide you with keyword lists. They make it really simple for you. They do that because they want to make money. But, um, you know, it's just a nice service. I think you don't get that all the time. 